Let's talk about Cuba real quick. <laughs> so I understand that, that the Dominican Republic, for, for the most part, like if you were to rank players by country, um, aside from the U.S., DR probably has the most top talent in baseball, I think. I don't know. I, 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 think, don't, I don't have any numbers in front of me. I think it's but safe it, to say that DR has the most professionals in the sport, like in terms of yeah, Hispanic-born. Uh, right, I would right. say we, we're probably up there with in terms of who made it to the major leagues, yeah. So then you have this country in Cuba who's been isolated, not from the world, but from the U.S., where, where baseball is the main, you know, that's where baseball was born. It's, it's America's pastime, right? But every year you get a Cuban player who's out of this world. I mean, takes we just league, talked about whole, by storm, yeah. And I'm just like, and and I have a we have a writer on Call to the Pen, Yusef Diaz, who's an incredible writer, and um, he he he's plugged into the Cuban scene and knows a lot about their players, interviews them, all that stuff. They have a ton of talent in that country, and I'm just like, I, I don't want to be insulting, but how, like. You know what I mean? How like, well, can they retain- watch MLB games in DR and in Cuba. Like, like you know what I mean? You're asking how they have the this much talent. I, I'm how- just like trying to think like how did baseball become? Well, they're retaining. Oh, how did they be? How did baseball blow up in Cuba? I'm trying to. I don't even know how to word this, but I'm just like I, I'm kind of mesmerized that they produce so much insanely good baseball talent out yeah. of Cuba. And that's not, nothing to say. I'm not trying to say something negative about Cuba. It's just because of the embargo and because the U.S. and Cuba had that had the relationship for such a long time. Um, I'm, imp- I'm, just, I'm imp- If anything, I'm impressed by it. Um, I'm still. Um, so Jose Abreu is Cuban. Cuban, yes. Will we say he's the top Cuban talent that has been able to sustain? A, len- a lengthier career than a lot of these guys that burst into the scene like Puig and you know we can we say Jose Abreu is right now like the standard of what a great Cuban born player should be since he's done it for what, like six seven seasons already probably yeah I think he's I'm looking right now on baseball reference um currently right now in the history of baseball 218 Cuban players have played MLB baseball He's played seven seasons. He's already a top 20 player. He's super consistent yeah. so far in his career, too. You know, and I'm, I'm talking Rafi Palmero. I don't know. Was he born? I think he was born in Cuba. Well, yeah, because I'm looking at it here. You have Tony Perez, Louis Tiant, who's a legend. I don't know how he's not in the Hall of Fame. Jose Canseco was born in Cuba. Livan Hernandez, El Duque. Um, you have... I was going to say Yasiel Puig. He's up there on the list. Yasmani yeah, was, Grandal was born in, in Cuba. Araldis Chapman, Jose Fernandez. Um, yeah, I was thinking of more. Yeah, I was thinking more like in terms of like the more recent burst of Cuban talent. Jose mm-hmm. Abreu is is the one that's been doing it the most consistently. It's only, in other words, you got a guy like Puig, or maybe even like Jorge Soler. Mm-hmm. Who, yes, my Yoenis uh, uh, Cespedes. I know injury prone yeah but. like see that's what i'm talking about like Jonas Cespedes is at one point was taking the league by storm he had the cannon he was hitting home runs and everything now you don't really want to be the guy to to be on that Cespedes no. wagon so shout out to jose abreu i don't know where i was going with this uh <laughs> <laughs> and then you have guys like 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 guriel in in houston who he's not uh he's not jose abreu or any of these really top Cuban players, but he's like one of these super consistent. You have to be afraid of this guy when he comes up to the plate. Like even Gurriel, play- even Gurriel on the on the Blue Jays, yeah, is having a pretty good season. I feel like if you, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that yes, the DR has probably the top talent in La- in Latin America, baseball talent. But I feel like if you compare exports out of DR and exports out of Cuba. I feel like like the percentage the the success rate is probably higher in Cuba, and I know that there's probably more Dominican players in baseball. Yeah, so that kind of skews it a little bit. But I feel like when I'm looking at this list, there's very few players on this list that I that I feel like are bus. Whereas if I do this birthplace by Dominican Republic, I'm Dominican by the way, so I'm not I'm not trying to shit on my people, but I feel like I. 
I feel like there would be a lot of players on that list that weren't that good. You know what I mean? Well, it could it could be that the Cuban players that come here are the top talent in Cuba, yeah. whereas the Dominican players that come here could be like unrefined talent that still have to, you know, go through the system and maybe maybe they're a ninety five mile power hurler, but they don't really know how to pitch. I feel like those guys in Cuba are more refined by the time they get here. That could be the case as well. Um, it could also be that if you're going to take the chance to leave Cuba to come to the U.S., because you have to jump, jump through a lot of hurdles to do that, that you're probably going to be a guy who's going to make it. Like, like a, the equivalent of who's a, who's a shitty Dominican player? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. A shitty Dominican player. Yeah, that's probably a bad way to phrase I don't, it. You, I don't know why Luis Severino comes to mind. Like, a, you just had to go there. I don't. Is understand. that just me though? Like, what? If you're talking about shitty? a bus, what? Did, who? Come on, let's be real here. Just stop playing around. Like, Luis Severino. Real... If you <laughs> name one Dominican player less than Luis Severino, and well, let's start. He's the bar right now. You got You got to be a less of a talent than him. But he's he is talented. Come on, he's like ta- don't... I, yeah, he's ta- he's in the majors. Freaking uh, God, I'm trying to think. Um, there has to be what's this guy? The guy that was on the Yankees bullpen a couple years ago got Dominican traded guy? to no, got traded to the uh, to to the Blue Jays. Oh, Chasen Chasen Shreve, not Tyler him. Tyler Clippard. Tyler Clipper. Tyler Clipper's a talented guy, but I think he's trash. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you're not listening uh, to me. We'd love to have you on our show. Let's think. Uh, Dominican players. I'm Luis Arreno's the first one who came to mind. I'm not saying he sucks. I'm just saying, like, we're talking I'm, I'm, about. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you out of the e- equation here because you just want to shit on the Yankees. Just, but well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking still at, waiting to. I'm gonna give you one right now. Chill, Jesus Christ, oh my God, hold on. Gary Sanchez. I mean, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to talk about a bus, like I'm kidding. Wow, what an Here asshole! We Here we go. Um, how about uh, you talking about current, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, man. Damn, we got Willie Adames, who's solid for the Rays, but you could. Yeah, I don't think he sucks. Bit. You don't think uh, he sucks? I, uh, what about this uh, relief pitcher that was on the Mets, Robles? Can we Robles kind of sucks. Okay, let's go Robles. Fuck is he the, and I'm, he's a minute, right? Throughout all of this, I'm already, I already lost my train of thought. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, uh, but okay. So, let's, so like Robles is <laughs> Robles is uh, minute, right? Like we know. Okay, that. so like let's say Robles. I got it. I'm I'm back now. Let's say Robles was Cuban. Would a guy and let's say Robles and let's let's throw out Pedro Martinez. Let's say that they played in the same era, right? And let's say they're Cuban, not Dominican. It would make sense for, for Pedro Martinez to try to escape Cuba and risk his life because he, he has the talent. So if he makes it to MLB, he's going to strike gold. He's going to make millions of dollars. He's going to be fine. Whereas Robles, he could take that chance. And then just to come to the U.S. and it'd be like that movie Pelotero where, where he makes it to the big leagues and then he just ends up like playing in some Sunday league might, or some shit. Yeah, he might give up before he ever even gets on that. He might, he might take all this risk. Paying these uh these uh what are they called buscones and all this stuff, all this money, um, and not pan out and end up being in debt and having being in the US, which I, I understand he'll have more opportunities and stuff here, but he could be poor, destitute. You know what I mean? Like almost yeah. impossible to survive. So I get it. If you're gonna leave Cuba, you probably have enough talent where you're gonna strike, you're gonna be good in major league baseball. But I guess I don't know. I don't even know where yeah. I'm going with this. It's just I impressive know- to me. I heard we were going. By the way, the Oscar Hernandez is having one hell of a season this year. Injured, man. Injured. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I hear what you're saying. I think, I think we're saying the same thing. Like, I don't know how the whole process works compared to DR and Cuba, but I feel like in DR, you got basically a bunch of trainers. They're putting mm-hmm. these kids in front of scouts. They're showing these raw, talented guys like, Anybody that could throw the ball over 95, anybody that could hit the ball over 400 feet, I don't care if you could hit a curveball or not. We just know that you can hit good, so we'll, we can work with you. We'll sign you to a minor league deal or a contract or whatever, and you will make your way up through the, through the system. Whereas the Cuban players, I think all of that weeding out process is already done by the time they get here, which could be yeah. why we have these like juggernaut players that are like five tools to start. Um, 
Luis Robert, for Christ's sake, his yeah. first his first season here. That's it. You know what I mean? He's yeah, he's, he's, he's a out, beast. Yeah. Um, but I mean, think about like the, the Yasiel Puig situation, what he went through to get to the United States. And he's he is I know people want to shit on Yasiel Puig, but he's a top talent, I would say, in baseball. He, he should be on a baseball um, team. He should be on a baseball team. And I think COVID prevented that from happening because he, he ended up testing positive for COVID. Hmm. But um he risked his life literally to get to the US. Um you could read articles about it and all that stuff. Just Google it. But that, that's what I'm trying to say. You're you're not gonna take that risk if you're Luis Robles. You know what I'm saying? Not to shit on Luis Robles. It's just the one guy that we could think of right now. So no offense to you, buddy. Let's say Tyler Clippard. Tyler Clippard is a Cuban guy. Tyler Clippard is not gonna take that chance if he's you know if if he's not sure he's gonna pan out 100 percent in the U.S. Damn man, we took Hans- we steered this ship like all over the place today, man. Just a quick, quick correction. It's a Hansel Robles, not Luis Robles. Ah, Hansel, yeah. Hansel, Hansel, Hansel. Hansel. <laughs> That's all, that Hansel's so hot right now. <laughs> that Hansel. <laughs> um, man, really ooh, quick. God, ERA 11.2. Hansel Oof. Robles. Get a clue, man. A find, a, find another profession. Yeah, wow. Offensive. Uh, yeah, but yes, I, before I uh, shut down your De Oscar Hernandez praise he is on the il but yes he's he was having a monster season this year and one of the reasons why i want to seriously consider your theory about the air in buffalo because some of the home runs this guy was hitting when he was healthy were out of this world yep out of this world but i mean i look i looked at what the i looked at what the altitude was in that buffalo field and it's not that much different from other fields in the major leagues like it's not mm. it's nothing close to to like the rockies or anything you know so but you never know if there's like a a, a jet stream that flies like right through center field or something you know you mm-hmm. never know it's and not that stadium just, it's is not just it's, about altitude it's like a minor league stadium too so that outfield goes into the streets essentially like there's yeah. no there's nothing to block the air you're right there's a stream yeah. going through it might there carry be, the ball there could be a jet stream there yeah man we we can get we can get very scientific here why don't we take a trip up to buffalo with a what kind I of am so would you down use? and just you know do one of these I'll get, but yeah I'll just, <laughs> i was just about to do that i'm down man. Um, i'll I'm be down, accepted there uh you would fraud <laughs> 